In this video, I'll be adding an accessory rack for my sauna. If you haven't seen my sauna build yet, I'll put those videos on the screen for you now. Go check them out first. Now, I saved all the waste cuts of cedar when building my sauna. When going through what I had, I sorted them by size and marked out any damaged areas I couldn't use. Since my towel rack would be right up against the glass panel of the sauna, I wanted the cedar planks to match in tone to the ones on the sauna wall. This way it has a continuous visual effect. So I picked the ones best match and numbered them for that side of the rack. My family and I use the sauna on a frequent basis. And not having anywhere close by to keep all the towels was triggering my OCD. Having the towels usually stacked on a chair just was not doing it for me. So I thought of a design that would keep with the modern finished design of my sauna and also would work as a cover for the electrical components for the sauna, which was quite an eyesore for me. One side of the cedar plank was finished and sanded, the other was not. So I went through and sanded all the edges and sides down. This would prevent the towels from snagging. Since I was putting the rack over all the electrical components, I would need to make it so this rack could be removed to access those components. I did this by adding a mounting plate on the wall with a 45 degree miter on one side. And the rack itself would have the inverse 45 degree cut. I added an end trim piece of cedar to finish off the rack walls. This will give it a little bit more rigidity. Here I'm installing some planks to the rack to hide the electrical components from view. For the countertop, I decided to go with a solid stain top instead of cedar planks. And I luckily had some leftover white oak solid wood flooring. So I utilized those. I picked out some planks that would span the width of the countertop and glued them all together. The next day it was ready to be sanded and stained. I started with a 60 grit sandpaper and worked my way up to a 120. After I was done, it was time to cut it down to size. I used a washer to scribe one side of the countertop flush with the glass panel and cut it down to final dimensions. For the stain, I used the color Natural by Rubio Monaco. I used a DeWalt cordless sander to buff the oil stain in evenly. If you're curious about any of the tools or products that I use, I'll have them listed in the description below. Now, I adhere the countertop to the base using Loctite Premium Glue. I've used this a lot for work and have had great outcomes with it. I highly recommend it for your most demanding projects. I used some clamps to hold it all in place until the glue dries.
And there you have it, a very simple way to store your towels and accessories for a sauna. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more like it. Thanks for watching.